Welcome to Star Citizen and the XXL Gentleman News. Directly after the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, there were extensive news about some ships, as well as changes on the roadmap, which we have analyzed and summarized for you as usual. There were further details and informations about the newly introduced MISC Odyssey. It was made clear again that the Odyssey with its level 2 mining laser and refinery is able to refine quantanium into fuel as well as to generate hydrogen fuel through a specialized MISC system by sucking in gases. The Odyssey, as a long-range explorer with a very large hangar and the possibility of self-sufficiency, offers different approaches in some areas than the Carrick, which is equipped with drones, modularity and specialized mapping functions. MISC, which can use a technology cooperation with the Gian, offers a passenger lift, a hangar that can easily accommodate a prospector or other ships of this size category, as well as a vehicle hangar, offering a variety of options that allow the Odyssey to also be used as an industrial ship. Specialized exploration mechanics and features such as those of the Carrick, on the other hand, have not yet been introduced. Spread over three decks, we find the engine room and the refinery section on the top deck. And by the way, we were also presented with an upcoming new spacesuit. On the top deck, the refining of quantum and hydrogen fuel is possible, whereas other materials cannot be refined. The refinery and supply capabilities here are rather analogous to the Starfarer, limited purely to fuel. A refueling function like the Starfarer outside the ship's hangar has not yet been confirmed, but this function lends itself to the Odyssey. But let's move on to the central main deck. Here we can also get to know new equipment as a small preview in the form of a helm. On the bridge, which has comparatively many dedicated stations as well as apparently a cartography table, we have a rather limited view, typical of MISC. All six crew members also have their own escape pods, as well as their own spacious quarters, which is a novelty, as on other ships usually only the captain can enjoy this luxury. There is also a spacious mess room, as well as enough stowage space for personal equipment which allows for various operational scenarios, even on longer trips. One of the core features, however, is the large ship's hangar, which can easily accommodate a prospector or other ships of this size category. Especially the height is exceptional, which offers the possibility to accommodate a variety of different ships in the hangar. This is also one of the Odyssey's greatest advantages. On the lower deck, there is also a vehicle hangar, which can also be used for cargo and which leads into the ship's hangar through a large passable gate and out of the ship via a ramp. Rover-sized vehicles can be accommodated here. The Odyssey is this a new reference in the field of vehicle and ship accommodation. But the Odyssey also offers one of the biggest advantages of the Carrick. In the level 2 med bay, we can also respawn here and cure most injuries. This makes the Odyssey the third ship so far with this option, alongside the 890 Jump and the Carrick. Only the upcoming Arisai Apollo offers better medical equipment. Another novelty is the dedicated level 2 mining laser, as well as a controllable tractor beam, which are located in the secondary cockpit below the main cockpit. All in all, the Odyssey already offers a lot of possibilities for all those who are looking for a home and want to use it away from combat for exploration or industrial purposes. In our opinion, however, the Kerrig is anything but obsolete, as it represents a dedicated exploration specialist that, unlike the Odyssey, can offer unique possibilities in this area, as well as drones and modularity. But there was also news about a brand new merchantman, all through this is the first white box phase. However, all the planned features can be found in this first conception, which still makes the brand new merchantman a universal ship that not only impresses with its size and appearance. We also find the vehicle and ship hangar, an enormous cargo capacity, the upcoming shop system, conference rooms, space for a crew, an extraordinary alien look, dedicated medical equipment, as well as many other features that makes the Banyu Merchantman one of the absolute community favorites. 
In addition, the BMM has grown significantly due to the reconceptualization and is clearly in the capital ship range, making the Banu Merchantman a true giant. And after we could already see some concepts and artworks for the interior at CitizenCon, it is very pleasing that these are already in the first white box phase, which speaks for good progress. Currently, the Banyu Merchantman is on the roadmap until the second quarter of 2022, which makes a release next year seem possible. However, for ships with such new technologies as the shop system and other specialties, delays are quite possible. Key areas for the Banyu Merchantman are modularity, which directly affects the shop system, the cargo refactor and the ability to jump into other systems. However, the fact that development has recently been actively resumed and a comprehensive reconceptualization has been carried out suggests that the release is planned and possible as soon as possible. The progress in CitizenCon has already been considerable, especially in the area of the engine room. But there was also news about the hull series, with the cargo mechanism for the hull A already being tested and the interior being finalized. And above all, the cargo mechanism is a core technology for this ship series, which can then ultimately be adapted and adapted for the larger B2E variants. But the hull C is also in a final phase, with new camera and MFD systems being implemented using building blocks technology. These will then show the area of the ship that is difficult to see and make it possible to monitor the extension and retraction of the ship's construction. With the hull C, the ability to jump into other system is also necessary, after this variant is already unable to land with cargo. One of the most far-reaching mechanisms, however, are the introduced tractor beams, which in size 1 to 3 can be used not only in the Origin 350P or Caterpillar, but also on the variety of other ships which will play a significant role, especially for the physicalization of cargo and larger structures. The MISC staff era gets another area on the fuel deck to accommodate and use portable fuel tanks. Did this really give us the space version of a fuel canister? In addition, the ship's interior has finally been overhauled, as this previously resembled more of a maze. Furthermore, the interior of the Drake Vulture was also completed in a final phase for the 2022 release. Work began in the white box on the Ares I Scorpius, which is also due for release in early 2022. The upcoming Scorpius represents a direct counterpart to the Anvil Hurricane. And also the secret function of the Argo Raft was revealed, so it is a transformer after all. So much for not being able to dock with other Argo ships. Let's move on to the roadmap report. There have been some updates in the area of new ships and vehicles which we have summarized. Currently, the RSI Scorpius, the Hull A and the Hull C are planned on the roadmap for the beginning of 2022. The Banu Merchantman, the Drake Vulture, the Hull E, the Misk Odyssey and the Origin X1 are planned for the roadmap for mid-2022. With 3.16, which will be released later this year, we will get an update of the available heads as well as a better look. In addition, the hospital on Area 18 will appear, as well as explorable shipwrecks that can offer rewards. Furthermore, the mining gadgets are an extension of the mining gameplay. The laser trip mines and jumped on 2 as a dynamic event also awaits us this year. In the first quarter of 2022, with 3.17, we will receive the Lowell Hospital as well as the Hangar Manager app which should offer new possibilities for ship management. Persistent hangars are also listed as is ship to ship refueling, which has been postponed to 3.17. Loot selling is also planned to allow inventory items to be sold. With the new tax emissions, we get a completely new gameplay loop, which should be interesting especially for owners of luxury ships. With 3.18, in mid-2022, the FPS radar will find its way into the game as well as improvements in the Pirate and Vandal Swarm modes. The Cargo Refactor, however, has the biggest impact in many areas of the game and is one of the core technologies in 2022. 
cargo will no longer simply appear, it will have to be physically loaded and unloaded, which will lead to a completely different game experience in some areas. The EVA will be expanded and improved in two versions and with salvaging comes one of the most long-awaited game mechanics. Also planned is the hacking mechanic. I hope you enjoyed the video and leave me a like and maybe even a subscribe here. With the Odyssey, the Carrick finally has an opponent and we have been given a choice. However, both trips are very different, which will become even more obvious with the corresponding upcoming mechanics. With 3.16 we don't expect any big innovations, but some stability is necessary for the start into the key year 2022. But as always, I'm interested in your opinion on the subject. What do you think of today's news? Let me know in the video comments in Discord or in the almost daily Twitch livestreams. But as always, the most important thing at the end, a big thank you to all supporters, whether Patreons, channel members or Twitch subscribers. Without you, this wouldn't be possible and you are an enormous motivation for which would we like to say thank you, you rock! And of course, there will be extensive and top-notch giveaways from the best partners in us again this month. You can find how to take part and what to expect in the following announcement trailer. Good luck! I say goodbye, until next time, see you soon and as always, see you in the verse! I feel the joy in the air Everybody's going home to the people they care for the most And I'm on my way Cause you're my happy holiday na, 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 na. You're my happy holiday I feel the joy in the air Everybody's going home to the people they care for the most And I'm on my way Cause you're my happy holiday na, 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 na. You're my happy holiday Holiday. Na, 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 na. You're my happy holiday.